whatever we can do to come together, to me that's the main thing, and just making it happen. See what I mean? That's what I'm talking about right there. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about right there. See y'all now, this is what, is it we still rolling? Let's roll. See this is what I'm talking about, why we are out here doing the stop the violence. That's how come it's important, how prudent it is. Already we've got three or four or five shots that has went off and we don't know how many people have been hit. We got cars that's flying down and people are shooting. We got another car that just turned the corner real fast and now he's going back and now something else is about to happen because they're shooting at each other. All of a sudden now, all this is going on. Why are we in the midst of a stop the violence? That's why it's important. It's important that we come together, brothers and sisters, and we come together and bring prayer back into our streets. We come together and we learn how to get along with one another. We come together to put the guns down. The guns are killing. The guns, the people with the guns are killing. We need to stop this. It's getting worse in the midst of us doing the stop the violence. We just been encountered and we're witnessing it. We don't know what cause or who it is, but we're witnessing that it has been about six or seven shots had rung out. Why are we in the midst of a stop the violence? The devil is busy. He don't want you. Okay, y'all, we need to we need to shut it down. Approximately 40 residents and community supporters participated in a Stop the Violence themed event hosted by the Moortown Community Faith Garden on Sunday, August 16th. The event featured expressions of faith and other positive messages meant to challenge the rampant acts of violence that go on in the community. Minutes after the conclusion of the gathering, gunshots rang out, leaving many of the event's participants feeling vulnerable and afraid. Shreveport police units responded to the scene shortly after the incident subsided and began an investigation. When bullets are fired, they have to come down. There are children that are playing in broad daylight. Elder people are outside. Think about those people. That's your grandmother, that's your mother, that's your father. Think about that. That's your sister, your brother. Violence isn't the answer. Don't pick up a gun when you got a problem. You used to, we used to fight about it and be friends the next day. You wanna shoot and kill, nobody's coming back from that. It has to stop. You had older people out here trying to run that could not run. Don't know where to go. That could have been your auntie, your grandmother, your mother out here. Think about it. 